My name is Francis Dolan. I'm the MD of RemoQuip. Today we'll be giving you a demonstration of a dual control system fitted to a Kabuta excavator U56. We fit a similar system to any machine from two ton to 50 ton weight. When the driver leaves the seat, you can install a receiver unit on the seat, make two connections, switch on a switch, takes less than a minute, and the machine that was a conventional excavator is now fully robotic. So it just hooks into the valve, like the... Yeah, all the hardware is fitted on the machine, yeah. and it's ready to go and set up, ready to go remote control. So I would show you what's involved. Sure. We have a receiver unit sitting on the seat. There are two connections. Look, just connect, disconnect. We switch on the system with this switch here. Yeah. Okay. You work the machine? Sure. Okay, put it around your neck. Okay, I think that's not clipping in right, I heard the lad saying. Yeah, there, yeah. Okay, now you have an e-stop system. Yeah. So if the machine is out of range or you need to stop it, whatever. So you pull out your e-stop, switch on the system, and press this switch here once on the side. And your start is here. Now, if you stand here, Scott, and you push the dead man button once, Push it once, yeah. Now you can operate as normal. So to change from conventional in-cab control to radio remote control took less than a minute. Yeah, totally. Too much. That's okay. It's a little bit tricky. You gotta get used to it here. Yeah, if you were 15 minutes, I, I can see you've obviously very experienced. So if you spend 15 minutes on the machine, you would be accustomed to it. All the functions that are in the cab, you can operate from here. You have it. I'll stand this side of you. Okay, you have your uh, you have your normal services on your joysticks. Yep. In addition to that, you you have I just pulled this in a bit. You have your tracking there. Okay. Yep. And the you blade have, is you have your right blade there. up and down. You have your offset. Yep. You have your hammer. You have your rotate if you will grab. Um, and from a safety point of view, you have a fully stop system. In addition to that, if you're working in a demolition site or some rough area and you fell over, the machine, once your radio goes beyond 45 degrees, it cuts out. Yeah. If you want to try that and demonstrate it, by all means, you know. Uh, no, I don't want yeah. to do that. And uh, if you have other auxiliary services, we can add them in here, depending on your requirements. Yeah, and switch is cool. Okay. Very cool. I like it. I'm you have to press your dead man again now. Yeah. yeah, we're not supposed to dig the ground, so don't yeah, go too severe. Try not to. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Side perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can appreciate that. If you had a situation where you wanted to reduce the speed of the slough or any one of the services to speed up a service or slow it down, we can adjust the settings to match what your requirement is. In addition to that, 
we have a potentiometer here, and if you wanted to run a grab and to close and open the grab yep. very slowly, you can adjust it, etc. Your auxiliaries. Yeah, that that beef being inside the cab because you can't control everything all right yeah. here. Yeah. You have to reach over and. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Very nice. Awesome. I love it. Uh, I can't wait to see it at Con Expo. Brilliant. Demolition, uh, environmental work, uh, ordnance removal, anywhere really it's dangerous. Steel plants, a lot of steel plants, a lot of steel industry, scrap industry, all that kind of, anywhere it's really dangerous to have the individual working in the cab. It's safer to have them. And the beauty of this system is, if a guy is operating a machine and all of a sudden he encounters a dangerous situation, he can just get out of the cab, takes one minute, switch it on, now he's working in radio remote control. And when the dangerous situation has passed, he can turn it off, put it away, get back into the cab, and he has a conventional machine again. The beauty of this machine is, the base machine is a Kubota, and we fit the, the same installation on many other manufacturers' makes. The spare parts are available anywhere locally, in every country, you can buy the spare parts for the machine. Yeah. If you have a dedicated robot, you can only go back to the manufacturers for the parts, and they're very, very expensive. So this machine, in every country you have a local dealer, and the parts are available.